that we've explored with different flash settings on a typical digital camera, now let's take a look at different scene modes. Scene modes are basically pre-programmed settings in the camera that usually suit a particular situation. The most common scene modes are portrait, landscape and action or sports. Let's talk about the portrait mode first. The portrait mode uses a wide aperture to give a blurry background, which is the common style for the portrait photography. Notice how the background is blurred so the main subject stands out. It also uses a faster shutter speed to reduce the effect of camera shake or subject movements. This makes the portrait mode perfect for shooting people on the go. Now, Although it was mainly designed for portrait shots, we can also use the portrait mode to capture objects or structures. The wide aperture that is used in the portrait mode allows us to focus on a subject while blurring the background or foreground. This allows us to create some quite stunning effects in our photos, don't you think? Next up is the landscape mode. The landscape mode is quite opposite of the portrait mode. It uses a smaller aperture and slower shutter speed to capture more detail in the photo, which is ideal for landscape photography. But do remember, because the landscape mode uses a slower shutter speed, you may have to support your camera by using a tripod. And there you go, now you're almost certain to get wonderful photos of beautiful landscapes. The last mode we're going to look at is the action or sports mode. Like its name suggests, this mode uses a very fast shutter speed and wide aperture to completely freeze motion so that the subject is seen clearly. It's great for photographing sports or outdoor activities when the subject moves constantly. So there you go, the three basic scene modes, how they work and how you can use them to improve the quality of your photos.